Good morning, everyone. Today, we are going to revise the story hatched, the vocabulary and the plot summary. Hatched by Gary Paulson. This is the author, Gary Paulson, and this is the title, Hatched. The new vocabulary, Ignite, is a verb to cause or to start burning, set off fire. Hatched is a short axe used to chop wood. Painstaking, adjective or adverb, and it means extremely, very careful, diligent, requiring great care. Stephen, to make difficult to bend or move, make rigid, rigid. Register, enter into someone's consciousness, make an impression. Smolder, to burn slowly without bursting into flames. So fire or burning without flames. Burning without flames. Smolder, the verb. Curls or quell as the singular noun. It's a collection of sharp, hollow spines on the back of a porcupine. Let's move to the plot summary now. The main character of this story is Brian. And Brian is a 13-year-old boy. Let's know what happened to him. Brian is on his way to Canada to visit his estranged father when the pilot of his small prop plane suffers a heart attack. Thirteen-year-old Burian is forced to crash land the plane in a lake and finds himself stranded in the remote Canadian wilderness with only his clothing and the hatch his mother gave him as a present before his departure. Brian had been distraught over his parents' impending divorce and the secret he carries about his mother, but how he is truly displayed and alone, exhausted, terrified, and hungry. Brian struggles to find food and make a shelter for himself. He has no special knowledge of the woods, and he must find a new kind of awareness and patience as he meets each day's challenges. Is the water safe to drink? Are the berries he finds poisonous? Slowly, Brian learns to turn adversity to his advantage. An invading porcupine unexpectedly shows him how to make fire. A devastating tornado shows him how to retrieve supplies from the submerged airplane. Most of all, Brian leaves behind the self beatty he has felt about his predicament as he summons to the carriage to stay alive. So this story is about a 13 old a 13 year old boy who was in the Canadian wilderness and he should stay alive. He should survive as or meanwhile he didn't have any awareness or patience or any knowledge about living in a wilderness. It's a very interesting story and if you need more information you can look in to Pearson Realize and listen to the story on it. Thank you very much guys. Prepare yourself for the test tomorrow inshallah and I wish you great progress.